up everyone this is DA from EA Academy in this video we will talk about the conditions on weight function and shape functions in the strong form specifically but somehow we'll relate those conditions uh, with the weak form as well so let's start strong form or a weighted residual method the solution that is u displacement is approximated by almost the same way as weak form or ridge method that is we have we have this that u is approximated by this capital u and that have a relation of this summation cj the parameters and phi j and phi naught that are the shape functions but here in the strong form of the weighted residual method the conditions on phi j and phi naught the condition on the shape functions are more precise or more strict given we have the weighted residual integral of this the weight function the integral is on the whole domain where r is the function of the positional parameter that we have seen in our previous videos as well and that integral is equal to zero uh, because we have to minimize the residual we have to minimize the error we have to make the best approximation so that's why this integral is equal to zero from here the main condition on the weight function is to be linearly independent to have a system of equation that is consistent and that is solvable so this is the main condition on the weight function from here we can extract it and we can and we have also talked about the main condition of linear independence especially of the weight function then associated with the uh, shape function as well because at some point we are saying that we have to approximate the shape, uh, shape and weight function so this is the very first condition and that is exactly the first condition on the shape function so the first condition is of linearly independence second condition is about the differentiability of the shape functions because whenever we have a differential equation for example we have a differential equation of this type then because of the structure of u the differentiability of the functions matters a lot but in the strong form the shape function needs to be sufficiently differentiable that is of the same order of the differential equation why is why is that because in the weak form if we have to solve this differential equation in the weak form then the sufficient differential of the differentiability of these function or the order of these function would be one or c1 in that case but here it it should be c2 or it should be the second order of differentiable same as that of this because we are not doing integration by parts we are not, we are not going to weaken the differentiability we're not going to distribute the differentiability so that's why these shear function needs to be sufficiently differentiable the third condition is on about phi j the phi j should satisfy the boundary conditions in the homogeneous form and here i'm not discriminating the essential boundary condition or the natural boundary conditions i am writing boundary conditions that implies the phi j should satisfy essential boundary conditions as well as the natural boundary condition in the homogeneous form we have talked about what is meant by the homogeneous form or the satisfaction of the boundary conditions with respect to the homogeneous form in our previous videos so there's no need to repeat the thing again and the fourth property is of the complete set and we have also talked about the complete set or the completion of the polynomial in our previous videos when we have discussed the conditions of the weight and the shape function regarding the reads method or the weak form so the fifth property is basically on phi naught but phi naught must satisfy the boundary conditions here as well boundary condition means essential and natural both so here phi naught should satisfy the boundary conditions in actual form actual form means that given boundary condition in the statement or the problem according to the situation so these these all are the five conditions on the weight and the shape functions so there is no discrimination on the condition of the weight function or shape function so these are the conditions on the wave functions on the shape functions but this specifically condition on the phi j and this specifically on the condition on phi naught and again by these conditions we are not saying that 
the derived shape function or the weight function is unique it may vary according to the problem according to the boundary conditions we have so these all are the main conditions but the shape function the weight function may vary from one problem to another problem from one person to another person in the next video we will talk about the first method that we will be using in the strong form and we will try to solve an example related to it so we can understand the concept so we can understand the weight and the shape function the difference between both of them in the first method of the strong form or the weighted residual method so this is for now we're looking for most videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye